Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate totals just for the checked items in a continuous form in Microsoft Access. You got a column of numbers, right? A field, particular field. You could total it up on the bottom. We know how to do that, right? That's easy with just a sum function. Well, now we're going to have check boxes over here and we're going to total up just the checked items. Now we're doing this in our fitness database, but it doesn't matter if you care about tracking fitness and calories. We're doing calories and protein here, and I just want to see how many I've actually eaten so far, right? Of the, all the stuff in this column, I've only actually eaten 500. But this works with any kind of database you want. All right, you ready? Here we go. Well, first of all, welcome to part 50. I never thought I'd get up to 50 in this, but I'm having fun with it. You guys having fun? We're learning some stuff. I, I've been throwing in a lot more cool tricks because the more I use the database, the more things I'm like, well, I want it to do this for me. So you guys are just benefiting from this, the cool stuff I want to do with this. First thing I want to do, that select all function that we built. This guy, remember select all, just when you click on a cell, it selects all the text. I'm just setting it for all of these guys here, right? Right click properties, and then I put it in the event right here, equals select all, sell all, uh, because I find it when I, when I click on one of these guys, right, I want to just have it highlight that or highlight that. And for the members, I want to be able to equally or easily hit equal and it pops that up. Okay. I also forgot to put it in this box here. We put it in these, but we didn't put it in this one. So right click design this guy and this will be also so all. Okay. Next up, sometimes I want to just quickly at a glance see what a particular meal was as far as calories or whatever. So it'd be nice if I could click on this guy and then click on these other ones here and maybe see down here a total total eaten, total calories eaten, total protein. Because sometimes I like to plan the day out, right? Plan the whole day out. But uh, I haven't eaten this stuff yet. So I want to see where exactly am I at yet. And that's a cool trick we can also put into this. All right, so we've got the totals down here, then we'll have the total eaten. And then eventually we're gonna put our goal in, what our goal calories and goal protein, whatever other goals you have are. We're gonna do that soon, because I, I like to put that in, the, that in there too. And then um, and we can also see how many you've actually eaten. And we might, I haven't decided yet, we might do a trick where we can click on the top box and then hold the shift key down and click on the bottom box and it'll select everything in the middle. I haven't decided, we might put that in. I'm, I'm just thinking about these things at this point. Well, let's do the first thing first here. So this form is based on my food log queue, right? Yep. So what we're going to do is if you want to have totals down here, then the values that you're totaling should be in the query itself. Okay. And that's easy to do. We've already got total calories, total protein. Now we just with a little if function can tell if those have been eaten or not, right? So let's go to the query design view. We've got total calories and total protein. All right, so I'm gonna just zoom in here, Shift F2, make it so I can see the other stuff. There we go. Okay, so total calories eaten colon would be, we'll use an if function. If, and I believe the field is just called eaten, right? Let's see, yep, oh, has eaten. It's right there, see it, has eaten, okay. If has eaten, now we can just leave it at that because has eaten is a true false value. Right, we don't have to say equals true. We can just leave it has eaten, that's a shortcut. So if has eaten, then calories or total calories eaten is gonna be equal to total calories. Otherwise, what'll it be here? Zero, it's that simple. All right, and we'll do the same thing with protein. Let me copy this guy, hit okay. We'll do this over here, zoom in. Paste it. This will be total protein. And total protein. Okay. And uh, whatever other fields you're tracking for yourself, too. And when we run it, we take a look. Okay. Total protein, total protein, total calories. Now, if I come, let's come on. I think I down on the bottom here. Something I checked already. Uh, here's some. I don't, I don't usually use these checkboxes myself because they don't do anything right now, but we're gonna make them do some stuff. So I'll start using it in the future. And you can see here, if it's checked, it shows up. If not, it's a zero. Okay. Now, all we have to do is come into the log and add some stuff on the bottom down here. So let's make this a little bit smaller. I barely use these food log notes, by the way. 
So this, I'm going to copy and paste this guy and put it here. We'll call this guy total. And we'll make it right aligned like that. And then I'm going to just copy all three of these. Copy, paste. And it doesn't work, of course. Paste. Mm. Copy, paste. Come on. Copy, paste. This, this bug is really annoying me. They, it works if you do them individually. All right. Slide these up. Total eaten. Now this guy will be sum. Sometimes you have to have the value up here. Sometimes you don't. I'm going to guess that we don't in this case. So let's find out here. Sum total calories eaten. Usually you don't. And we'll call it, I like to call it the same thing, sum total calories eaten. And then the other guy, let me, I'm just gonna make this bigger. See the whole curve. That's my database is much, much bigger on my screen than you guys can see. Like when I'm working on it by myself, I, I make it giant. All right, so sum total protein, and this will be sum total protein eaten. Sum total protein. Okay, save it. Let's make it a slightly different color. Let's go with, uh, what do you want? Let's do like a light blue. There we go. All right, save it, close it, open it. Let's check some stuff. Let's do lunch. Now notice it's working, but it doesn't work until you leave the record. See? Now if I got to click up here, because that record's dirty. So all we need is a little event in here that saves the record immediately. So in my Eaton checkbox, or in, or in the quantity checkbox, because these things will both affect this. We'll do it in both of them. Um, we'll do it in event. We'll do it in the after update event. I'm right in here. And all you really got to say is me.dirty equals false. And that'll just save the record immediately. Let's come back and do it for quantity as well. After update same thing okay now close it close it open it and if we check stuff check see check immediately check check so i know that meal was 775 calories yeah i made i made protein pasta today it wasn't bad it was a little uh a little, a little getting used to taste but it's much much better for you than uh than regular uh what do you call it regular pasta, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I'm half Italian. I love pasta, but I'm trying to find foods that are higher in protein and lower in carbs. And yeah, I made the box and I shared it with my wife and she liked it too. Okay. So that's good. Now, what about the other trick? What about the trick where I can click on this guy and then hold the shift key down and click on that guy and it selects everybody in the middle? Well, we can get away with that because all of our times, all of our records are time uh, sorted and none of them can have the exact same time because of what we did earlier with that one second trick. All right. Otherwise you'd have to have some way of sorting these or whatever. Um, and we can definitely do that with a little bit of code and we'll talk about that in tomorrow's class. So yeah, you know the drill by now, right? Tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you remember, you can watch it right now because I got to record a bunch of these today. I'm in the, I'm in the mood. Sometimes I go for two or three days without recording anything. And then I just I get in the mood to record a bunch of stuff at once. So I'm going to probably do a bunch of these today. Now, this video is going live, let's see, Wednesday, the 15th of October, 2025. So, yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, will be another fitness video. Then we got Quick Queries Friday, and then we'll continue on Monday, the 20th. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, don't go yet. I just realized these guys aren't visible for some reason over here. None of those labels are showing up. I think it must be a throwover from when we had, uh, for, for some reason, this guy wasn't visible by default. So, let's take all these guys and go visible, yes. Save it. I noticed that as I was putting the slides together for this, I'm like, wait a minute. Why don't I see the totals over here? Okay, it's working now. Bye-bye. Well, that is going to do it, folks, for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. 
Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.